This is the only video you need to see right now to duplicate items in Zombies Modern Warfare 3 and I'll be showing you in very great detail so you won't lose track at all and know how to do it exactly after watching this video. Drop a like, subscribe and let's begin. Okay guys, so come in here and get everything that you want to duplicate with a tombstone glitch just like the other methods. So go ahead, go through, uh, get everything that you want to get, get a weapon so that you don't die and then that's it. That's basically all you need and uh, once you're done from there, go to squad fill, turn that off because it's better to not have your teammates interfere with this like I've had sometimes in the past go ahead find a match and then from here make sure you got the bad signal mission equipped or if you've already finished and completed this then you'll never need to equip it you'll have the portal there already every single game when you spawn in anyway so go ahead ready up match make and then when you're in the game this is what you're going to do and here we go as you can see this is currently august the 18th on my gun there and we're going to be doing this today it's still working just to confirm make your life easier pack a punch your scorcher just like i've done it is gonna remove one duplication from your actual inventory, but it's gonna make it allow you anyway to get to places faster and make the glitch a lot easier as you'll see in just a second. And just quickly, let me tell you about my sponsor, Mitch Cactus. You can get all schematics, all cases, everything in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies unlocked for your account right now ASAP. And there's so many other services, including camo services and all the services shown on screen right now. You can literally get anything, including COD points, nuke skin, bot lobbies, pre-made accounts, all weapons max, everything like that. Go ahead to Mitch Cactus and use code Joey for 5% off. We can check out over 15,000 customer reviews on Trustpilot. Use code Joey for 5% off. And now let's get back to the video. So guys, you're going to need $2,000 to get Tombstone. So what you're going to do is, as soon as you learn the game, if you don't have any money, like me, for example, right here, you're going to go ahead and do a mission. And there you go. I even got a self-revive just in case. And I got something to stow as well. There we go, guys. We made it. Get this bad boy right over here. Purchase it up and take some money while you're at it. Why not? And now, guys, we're going to head to this building right over here. Nice and close, nice and easy. Now, the good thing about this is, guys, if you do die while attempting this, which I um, promise me you won't be, it's very easy. But if you do, don't worry, you've got tombstones. So you come back, do another attempt, and just do the same steps I showed you already straight away. Now, guys, once you get up here, you're going to come to this room right over here. So remember, this is a location. Come down the staircase, and you're going to come to this wall right over here. You'll see it open up in just a second. There we go. So see here? You're going to put in a code, and this is a code you're going to put in. So the first one is this one right here. looks like a swan. And then after that one, we have this uh, crossbow-looking one. And then after that one, we have this uh, shape. Now, once that's happened, guys, it's going to say here, $1,000 to open a portal. Get away from me. Oh, my God. Give me one sec, guys. All right. Sorry about that. Anyway, once that's done, you're going to open it. There we go. So you need $1,000 to open that bad boy. Keep the portal just like this. Now, keep that portal there and come back up to the roof. Now from here guys, this is where you're gonna need the Scorcher and if you pack a punch it like I said before, it's gonna make your life a lot easier because you can travel a lot faster with it. You're gonna come over here to this portal. All right, now you're gonna run through here and accept it, enter anomaly. Now from here guys, shoot back up and go back to that portal as fast as you can. You can run with your fist, but it's a lot harder. If you have the Scorcher, it's a lot easier. So run back to that portal and go into the portal as, so, as fast as you can. Go into it, just like that. Now, you see you're here? See that time on the left? Once it gets to about three seconds, get there. From here, go to the map, vote yes. And that timer comes on the screen. When it hits six seconds, just like this, run into the red zone, just like that. All right, perfect. Now, when you're here, guys, this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna teleport you. And when you get here, guys, have your screen open to close the game. Once it's black, once this screen comes up, close the game. Now load back up Modern Warfare 3 and you'll see you have all the items back in your inventory. All right, now we've loaded back up. Let's go to the gear. There we go. All the items that I had, bang. So as you can see, guys, I have all my items that I had before I died back in my inventory. And all I can do is put them into my stash. So unequip them, put them all into my stash. And then I can go back in the game and I'll find my tombstone is still there, which means I've duplicated my items, but I put all the items I had in my stash. So I've kept them and now I can go back into my game, get the items back, the exact same items you're seeing on screen right now, and then play with it. Now, I don't have any room in my stash to unequip it, so I can't show you, but that's exactly how it works. And as you saw, guys, you don't need to wait till five seconds, six seconds, go anytime, and it still works right now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next glitch video. Joey Rhymes out.